Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna be practicing the G one thousand GPS. So I am at Papa Hotel November Lima at Honolulu International Airport. All right. So let me bring the charts. So we're going to go to the approach. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do an ILS approach to runway 08. Then we're going to go around and then I'll show you how to automatically uh, activate the go around. So we're going to perform a go around. Then we're going to come back and do, uh, let's say, an RNAV to four left, right, from our holding point. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another go around, but this time I'm going to show you how, how to manually activate the go around because there's a different way to do it. Let's get to it. First, we're going to go ILS runway 08 left. So here's, I'm going to bring the charts here. I'm going to jump in the aircraft. Let's, uh, well, actually, before we power off, let's go back here. Let's go to customize and make sure we have two hours uh, of fuel. That should do it. Make sure we have enough fuel for this. Right, it doesn't matter uh, the location. It doesn't matter where you fly. I mean, where, where you uh, spawn. Uh, anyway, from here we're just gonna go in the air straight up. Uh, we're not gonna take off and or do all that. Uh, this is just for practicing. So, all right, we have enough uh, fuel. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the batteries. Gen, strobe, landing lights, nap lights. I'm gonna do it now. Uh, let's be all this stuff here on okay we're gonna let's see parking brake set turn on the engine all right all right i'm gonna bring the screens here already minimize them uh, this one I guess you remember that one but not this one so we're gonna I'm gonna make them uh, let's see somehow smaller so you can see exactly in what I'm doing I'm gonna leave them on the screen here All right, we can make let's put it like this there you go something like that let's see yeah that's good All right, so first thing, we're going to start setting up the fly plan here on the ground. Um, so I'm going to bring the right screen. I'm going to go to fly plan. Now, if you already have a fly plan, let's uh, delete that. So fly plan menu, uh, uh, outer nav, I'm going to go to delete fly plan, enter, right? You can go direct to program. You don't need a fly plan. Um, we're going to go to select approach, enter. First, we're going to go to do the ILS runway 08 left. So we're going to select that. So ILS 08 left. Let's select that. Enter. Now we are coming from, we're going to select Oka, that's our transition, right. select that, enter. Minimums, let's bring the charts here, it says 213, in parentheses 200, and that's what we're going to set. Now this is a very important step, if you don't set the minimums, 
the activate mist approach will not be available unless you're very close to the runway and then you fly over the runway now uh, let's uh, change this to barrel and then we're gonna go next and set that to 200 by doing this once you reach your minimums the activate mist approach option will be available next we're just gonna load and activate it too right so once we in the air it's uh oops there you go so once we in the air we're just gonna go fly straight to oka and do the approach all right so this is set initial altitude uh let's set that for 3000 for now right so i got that already set see right there 4000 3000 so that's already set our uh, GPS is selected and all right so now we're gonna go ahead and start flying so first we're gonna pause the game by uh, pressing P on your keyboard right so now we'll pass uh, sorry pausing the game and then we're gonna bring the map by clicking uh, hitting M just press M on your keyboard and we have the map here now if you zoom in it shows me that's us right here I'm gonna click on the airport uh, airplane and now we're gonna select we're gonna set the altitude I'm gonna put that to let's say 3000 and then we're gonna make sure you set the speed to let's say 1 75 right so now we can close this I'm just gonna hit P again and just you know put your speed up stabilize the aircraft make sure you're flying right I mean uh, straight and then automatic pilot and then nav mode and that will take us to our transition right we are at 3000 just make sure your speed is set correct all right so now we're just gonna do the final approach all right so now I'm gonna bring the charts here so we have to be at Javit according to the chart at 3500 now what we're gonna do actually I'm gonna change I'm gonna set my GPS uh, my altitude to 3300 just to be a little bit under uh, okay and then let's see for go around we're gonna climb straight right we're coming this way ILS and then we're gonna go straight climb to 500 once we reach 500 then we're gonna turn right and then go all the way to 5000 and so climb to 500 then climb right turn to 5000 outbound on Honolulu to Alana and hold so we're gonna climb in hold to 5000 if we didn't get to 5000 we're gonna still climbing to 5000 in hold so all right so we're gonna go straight once we reach 500 uh, feet we're gonna start turning and go to Alana and then we're gonna set our uh, go around altitude to 5000 right all right let's do that all right so basically uh 3000 actually we're gonna set this to three oops not four thousand let's go to the inner knob and set our altitude to three thousand three hundred um 
We can use the verses and just go up. Like 500 feet should be doing it. Uh, just watch your speed, huh? I was slowing down. I gotta push. So I'm just setting up my altitude now. Now obviously when you do an approach, you might be a different um, uh, altitude. Like for example, if you know when we do the go around, we're gonna be at 5,000 according to the chart. So uh, since we just do it the first time now, I'm just gonna stay at 3,300. All right. So altitude it's set. We are at 3,300. I'm just gonna go a little bit faster here so all right so we are on the final approach for ILS uh, runway zero eight left Now before we do the, fi the final turn, we want to make sure that localized frequency is 111.7, it's set, and then the final co approach cursor will be set to 079. So first, we're going to check that 111.7 right here on nav mode, it is set correctly, so that's good. And then once we change um, we click on CDI to change to nav um, we're gonna see the the final cursor we still have time we can change that after we get localized All right, so um, obviously you have to check your speed and uh, based on we're not following the correct speeds and things like that here the point is uh, uh, this is uh, just for practicing now in this case you can uh, sometimes you have to uh, actually change this so once this text became white I'm gonna change this to to the nav so now we're gonna get captured and uh, we're getting localized and you, you can see we are making the turn that you know depends of on 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 the airport you're flying. You might have to do it earlier, like I did it. In this case, I could have just wait. I could have just wait until the turn and then do it. It it all depends. Uh, obviously, it's based on where you're flying. Uh, now we gotta make sure uh, for the glyscope to capture us that we uh, activate the glyscope before this line reaches our altitude. So to do that, we're gonna click on approach. So you see the GS message came here, the Glyscope. Now we can go ahead and slow down here a little bit. Now the GS message, it's in white. If it's flashing, then you click again on approach, but it shouldn't. Um, so we're going to leave it there. And then once this one reaches our altitude, there you go. Now the Glyscope message, GS message became green. So now we uh, are so we are localized and then the glyscope capture us and now we start descending you just watch your speed right so now the cursor here is set to 081 on the chart it says 079 so you can change that to 079 so that's our ILS approach now we're gonna get ready for misapproach. Our misapproach altitude, we're gonna set that to 3,000. I mean, I'm sorry, 5,000. Right? That's our go around altitude. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the heading mode to our uh, heading by pressing the heading uh, button. You know, I'm gonna bring this screen here now you can do it from here you can activate the miss approach or from here uh, you can click on program and then activate it from here it is doing it's it will do the same thing 
Alright, let's bring the gear down and get ready for landing, right? I'm gonna set flaps to 50. I'm just gonna slow down here just a little bit. And this message is like we're going too fast. Uh, let's slow down a little bit more. There you go. Okay, runway on site. We got two white and two red lights, so we're good. And now we're going too slow. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. So I'm gonna bring the screen here so you can see when this message gets activated so Now the verses. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna click on verses because I want to get ready. Um, now, if you usually uh, the way I do it, I disconnect the automatic pilot, and uh, especially like the last the thousand. When when I reach a thousand uh, feet, I just fly manually. Just watch the speed here. So I, I, I fly manually. Alright, so um, what we're gonna do now? We're still uh, on ILS. We're gonna go around without disconnecting the automatic pilot. So remember, we set the minimum to 200. Now you see the message activate missed approach it's not highlighted so let's use versus we're gonna set up to a thousand and that message is still not active now watch when we fly over the runway activate missed approach now it becomes available so now we can select it enter and then we can uh, click on CDI uh, and go back to GPS and now it's gonna take us to our holding point. Let me zoom out here a little bit. And we are going to our holding point. Uh, we can go a little bit faster. So this time I'm gonna let it go all the way to the holding point and because I want to show you it does the loop and everything and and then once we're there we're gonna set up the fly plan and um, uh, the second time we're gonna do our nav GPS to runway four left getting ready uh, to reach Alana and once there you go uh, this became uh, we are on hold so now it's gonna make a left turn come here and then do the loop according to the charts and oops sorry let's bring this back and that's what we have to do it's to to the right and then it's gonna do the loop until we cancel that 
we're reaching 5,000 I'm just gonna slow down a little bit here make sure we're not over speeding here all right so in the meantime I'm gonna bring this one let's do RNAV or GPS right I'm gonna come uh, doing a GPS approach now according to the charts to runway 4 left um, so from Alana we have to be a fixin at 3000 and then Gidme or Gidme at 2000 and then we're gonna stay at 2000 and once we reach Mackay it's gonna start descending so LNAV that's what we're gonna do basically um, so the minimum will be 460 right and then the go around it's the same climb to 500 then turn right but this time we're gonna go to 3000 instead of 5000 all right so let's go ahead and set that all right all right so we're gonna go to program select approach so we said RNAV 04 left GPS all nav right alright I'm gonna select that and then we're coming from Alana I'm gonna set that there you go and then here the minimums it said it was 460 so I'm gonna set that to 460 so let's say if it's a stormy weather if you get to 460 and you don't see the runway 460 feet and you don't see the runway you have to go around all right so we're gonna activate this there you go now we're gonna go straight to Alana now here the VNAV profile it's uh, already set and that's see that icon over there it's already set uh, that's our top of the sand so to do that I'm gonna set this the altitude really fast here to 2000 right and then we're gonna I'm gonna click on VNAV here and you see VPAT message came it's in white and make sure you do that before that icon so what's going to happen once once the aircraft reaches that icon is going to start descending by himself and then the 2000 was that's the basically that's where we have to be at 2000 here according to the chart chart all right Now, do the turning to go to our, to proceed our, okay, we're going to fi fixen. You can see now this one, it's coming. The altitude, the VPAT. Now this should become green. There you go. VPAT green is going to start descending. Now watch your speed here. I'm going to manually lower the speed here make sure we're not catching too much speed and there you go now with this um, <clears throat> when you do a GPS or a LNAV uh, approach we don't have to change this to uh, so we we don't have to change to click on CDI we're gonna just leave it on GPS now let's see something here let's bring the charts here the only thing we want to make sure here that the final approach is 042 So now it's probably gonna level up 
at 3000 we have to be at uh, Gidme or Gidme at 2 so just watch your speed here because you see it levels out next one will be 2000 but let's see is it well I guess it's still descending but it's descending a little bit slower well that's because I set this to 2000 I, I guess you have to set to 3000 and then when you get to 3000 you change that to 2000 but I, I, I set it straight to 2000 it's still descending uh, but once this one reaches us it's gonna start descending faster as you, you see here the icon for where to start descending to go to 2000 I guess it's not it's almost catching us okay. We're doing the final approach again So the final approach cursor says 042, here it says 043, I don't know if it's going to let me change that, no it doesn't, so we're just going to leave it at 043, it's fine, it's not, uh, if it's very off then you know that's a problem. Alright so here again we're at 2000. gonna wait and stay 2000 until we get to Makai now here again I'm gonna bring the cursor to the heading mode Now before Makai, you see that dot over there, we're going to click again on approach and sometimes you have to click it twice, see what happened, I had to click it twice, so make sure I got the GPS and V message here. So now once we pass Makai, it should take us down. Alright, let's start descending here, let's slow down, gear down, let me bring this message here. Now the first scenario that I did, the activate missed approach did not become available because we didn't reach our minimums, but we were close enough to the runway, so once we got on top of the runway, then it, be it became available for us to select it. Let's say if uh, the uh, you play online, online and then the ATC tells you to go around, you're not near to the... Uh, to the airport or to the runway this um, this message this text here will not get activated so then you have to you you will have to uh, uh, set your uh, 
go around manually. I'm gonna try to slow down here a little bit faster. Oops. Um, and um, that's what I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. So here in this scenario the minimums are higher. So um, as you can see that icon, the blue icon, now it becomes yellow. That's your minimum icon. Right, so once we pass that, we're lower than the minimum, the activate mist approach will become available and we are far away from the runway. Right, I'm going to do it manually anyway, but I just want to show you this, this, uh, this scenario too. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring the verses, I'm going to bring it up to a thousand again, maximum trust. Positive climb gear uh, flaps 50. So now I'm gonna put heading mode for now, just to go on a heading mode. And let's do this. We're gonna go to fly plan. So I'm gonna pre press the cursor, go down, select Alana, and then menu, activate leg, enter. And now we're gonna go nav mode. And now it's taking us to uh, the holding point. Now, see, in this case, was we reach 500, make a right, and go to Alana, right? Now, obviously, this basically you, you will have to select your next waypoint. So you have to check your charts and see when you miss land, what's your first waypoint. If you have like between the runway. Or the airport and the holding point then you have to intercept another uh, waypoint or something then obviously you're gonna direct aircraft there and then from there you're gonna go to the holding point as you can see right now we are going back to Alana and then it's gonna do the loop again all right thanks for watching I hope this helps until next time happy flying